Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another little video. Today we're going to change the propellers on... The, no, we're gonna change the motor, the Tello. If we just put it on. So we now have a picture. So we're gonna start it. So as you can see, this one don't want to move. So we're gonna change the motor in that one. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. So we start by taking a propeller tool, popping it off like that, turning off the tello, pulling out the battery from the back like this, so it isn't connected. Put the battery here for now. Then comes the tricky parts. We need to loosen uh, this little cap down here, and it's glued on. So be careful when you do it, that it is possible to do it. You should take like a tongue or something. Just... So there you can see like it's starting to open a bit. Just be careful when you do this. That's all I ask of you. Sometimes you can just take a little scissor or a knife or something. And to take off the motor, push down there, so it doesn't have anything that sticks to it. So just take a tongue or something. Slowly, slowly wiggle it up. And there it is. So the cords down there are pretty short, as you can see. You can't take it up any more than this. Then you can see it's like a hole straight through, just. So here we have the little motor. Actually seems to be working fine, can't feel anything that's wrong with it, but we have new motors right here. So what we're going to do is just to change it, take out the new motor and that'll be fine, big, that'll be fine. Working out which motor I want, because there's different motors for different rotors. So think about that when you're putting in the motor, that it has to be the right one. Right now I want to use this one. It's the opposite of the one I used right here. So now this is going to work. So we start by taking out the cords. The, those can be a little bit tricky to get out, but it should be fine. Remember to take out the battery so you won't uh, sh uh, short anything like that. So here we have the cords. Just gonna pull them away from each other a little bit. We need a little soldering machine, magnifying glass, so I can see what I'm doing when I'm working. Then you want to take the old motor. There is a, like a little connector here, but uh, if you want you can put another connector on here. Then it's like easy, just snap on, snap off, but then the connectors will hang out and it will look pretty bad. I did it like just solder them together and then glued everything back so it's waterproof. I think I'm gonna do the same on this side. So I start by taking a scissor, cutting off the connector. Now I have two cords, one blue and one red. That is also a good question, which one goes to which one? Because on this one you have black and blue. Is it blue to red, blue to blue or black to... That is a good question. So I would go with blue, red, blue and black actually, but I'm not really sure. Take off some of the rubber on the cords. The magnifique. Then you push the motor through the hole. Doesn't really matter which way it goes, just push it down and down it goes. So now for the fun part with the soldering. Remember what I said? Blue to red and blue to black. I'm not really sure actually, so... Um, I think we're just gonna have to try it first. I'm not really sure if I put the cords right. I put uh, blue on black and red on blue. Put black on blue and red on blue. So we're gonna see first if the motor starts at all. Or if we have to change it. This one is going to swirl that way, that one is going to swirl that way. Yeah, I think it works actually. Perfect, 
So now we just have to make it uh, nice and tidy and uh, then we are finished. Shut everything off, take out the battery, look at the soldering. So, we have now soldered it. Now we're gonna glue it. So just take the glue gun, wait for about 10 seconds. See, it's already finished. Now just take this one off. Then we just need to secure the hole. We're gonna put some glue inside of the hole. Not too much because of the motor is in there, so it doesn't have to look pretty. As long as it does what it's supposed to, I'm really happy. And then we also need to glue the connectors so they don't, uh, so they doesn't connect to each other. Like I said, it doesn't have to look pretty. As long as it does what it's supposed to, I'm really happy. Yeah, homie, I think that did it. So let's push in the battery once again. Said that she caught my picture in a locket. Piano, girl, you play me like piano. Walking in my Gucci sandals, get it like a candle. Oh, we have picture. Drop a cup of Do all that just cause I can't. Perfect. Can it fly? Girl, you play me like piano. Walking in my Gucci sandals, get it like a candle. So, one more drone fix, one less of a problem. And then another video for you guys. Uh, the last video I made of this motor chain thing. And that's quite a good uh, response on that one. So I really hope that this one can make it a little more easier to sound when I record it on my phone. And this one I record on the Sony as I usually do. So uh, I really hope that you like this little video of the changing motor on the Tello. It's a really easy job, uh, takes about 20 minutes, half an hour. Not the prettiest job, but um, I like it. I think it works fine. Thank you again Micro Motors Australia. Nothing more to say than if you're new to the channel, if you're new to the RC and Rome game, please subscribe because I have many more videos and uh, many more to come. We are having a little uh, announcement uh, next week. What that is I'm going to tell about next week. See you next week. Bye bye. Or I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye bye. Piano, girl, you play me like piano. Walking in my Gucci sandals, get it like a candle. Drop a cup.